All right, we're here at the Great Coasters International booth, and wouldn't it be great if In The Loop knew someone at the Great Coasters International booth? I mean, it would be nice. It would really help the show, and I think we'd all be a little bit better off. I but, think uh, so. Oh, wait. I think oh, I do Oh, right look all at right, that. Good, Adam good. House, our own Adam House. Right. Stiffly dressed, right. selling roller coasters. Look at Snazzy. Yes, he is. Come on, Ooh. now, Clint, watch yourself. Watch yourself. Oh. Let's get the Adam House watch on here. Uh, it's oh, like the play, yeah. I feel like I'm advertising for somebody here. You should be. <laughs> Adam's wardrobe has been provided by... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be at the end of the show. Yes. All right, so we're here at the GCI booth. Adam, you want to tell us a little bit about what do we have on display? Um, basically, we brought our car from last year. Uh, this is the trade show car that we made. Last year, it had a little bit of audio on it, but we decided to kind of go with a different approach, change it up, add a few things, put a new banister on. Uh, we've also got the new uh, Nerf bars on it as well. And it's, it's basically just a different change for us. It's, it's something new, it's something special. It shows features that you could really get. I mean, it shows a, a unique uh, paint job, and it's uh, really some of our top of the line stuff that you can do. I like the flames on the side. It's yeah, very we figured cool we'd go with that. It's a little bit more custom. You know, it, it really gives the customer an idea of what what you can do as far as paint because a lot of people think we powder coat something red, we powder coat it brown. Mm -hmm. You know, Great Coast doesn't have any options, but we do. Yeah, really, we can provide whatever this is the customer GCI wants. GCI with style. Exactly, exactly. And the rest of the booth here, we've got some of our great rides around the country uh, from El Toro in Germany all the way to Terminator Salvation in California. And if you follow the booth around to the left there, we've actually got some shots of the brand new uh, Yosa de Drac from Efteling. How long did it take you to learn how to pronounce that? Um, well, it's funny because we've always seen how to spell it and everything else, and nobody really knew how to say it, but we actually watched a documentary on it um, of the owner speaking of it, and uh, clearly it's Yosa de Drac. And uh, you pick it up pretty quick that way. Like, I had no idea it was pronounced mock rides until earlier this week. Right, right. I've been saying it wrong for years. Right, but it is a German company. I don't think, you know, a lot of Americans think. And no. the same with Hus. So yeah. everybody says it's Hus, but it's Hus, really. So. Yes, and you got these fancy GCI director's the fancy chairs. chairs are here, too. So How many people are salivating, like, where can I buy the director's chairs? They're exactly. They're like, we need to get copies yes. of these. They're like, Adam, why don't you provide these yeah. on the show as prizes? I don't think that's going to be coming no. anytime soon. No, maybe you'll get a leftover brochure if you're exactly, lucky. Exactly, exactly. We've also got the co-car here. Uh, this is the car we normally bring to the show, but uh, it, it's kind of in conjunction with Coke. Uh, a lot of people think, oh, you guys have a special deal with Coke. It was actually Coke wanted it something to provide and show for really the amusement industry, and, and they came to us and we provided them with that. We've got kind of a thing going where they bring it to the show for us, and they actually get to keep it at their headquarters in Atlanta all year. So Very cool. Coke has also a wonderful booth. We have a YouTube video up of their super machine over there. Exactly. So be sure to check that out. Exactly. Another feature real quick of the booth is if you take a look over here, we're right across the street. Is that by chance or is that for a reason? I don't know. Say it again. We missed it, Adam. Sorry, I had the microphone on. Turn And if you guys look over here, this is kind of the, uh, the main feature of our booth. We're actually across from the free Dippin' Dots. So, you know, I don't know if that happened by chance or coincidence. Uh, and but you're not it, too far. The, the free pizza is like three boots over. You, <laughs> you know, it's, hey, it's a wonderful spot. I don't know if it's because we like free stuff or we're all just, uh, you know, we like to eat. But it all works out, you know. Oh, yes. So. All right, Adam. Well, thanks for showing us around. Definitely. Thanks for stopping by, guys. All right. Tune in. In the loop. He's there. I'm there. Clint's yeah. there. Joel. <laughs> <laughs>